Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 extends the ability for organizations to manage their master data efficiently with the Global Address Book. This version provides a flexible data model which supports B2B and B2C business models, reducing customizations. Reduces the complexity and database size of implementations by eliminating redundant data storage. Provides a holistic view of a person or organization across the enterprise and provides options to secure parties and private addresses and contact information. In this video, we'll take a look at creating party and party role records to see how the Global Address Book delivers this functionality in Dynamics AX2012. How to set up the Global Address Book security options is covered in the Setting up Global Address Book security options video. For an overview of the Global Address Book features, please refer to the video titled The Global Address Book in Microsoft Dynamics AX2012. The Global Address Book is a central repository of people and organizations that play some role with your enterprise. These people and organizations are called parties, which we can see on the Global Address Book list page. Here we can see the various roles the parties play across all legal entities, such as Adams Office Supplies, who is a vendor in our CEC legal entity, or Aaron Painter, who is a contact, and if we expand the Relationships Fact Box, we can see that they're a contact for Fire Televisions. And A Datum Corporation, who plays multiple roles across several of our legal entities. While these people and organizations can play multiple roles with our enterprise, their data, such as name, address, and contact information, is stored once and referred by the various party role records throughout the system. There are multiple ways to create new party and party role records. The most common is from the party role. For example, when creating a new customer record, the customer can be either a person or organization depending upon the record type. If we type in their name, customer information, address, and contact information. And we look at the customer detail form, we can see the information that we just entered, such as their name, address, and contact information. If we view this information back on the Global Address Book list page, we can also see their name, address, and contact information. I can change the name, address, or contact information here, and the changes display on the customer detail form since the data is shared. I could also use parties across legal entities. For example, it is very common to share your vendors across your different legal entities. So I switch companies and I go to create a new vendor. Now sometimes I know this vendor exists in our system and sometimes I do not. In this case, I know that we have done business with this company in the past, so I type in a partial of their name, select the party name lookup, and I can see records that match what I've typed in. I can validate the information by viewing their telephone number, email, and primary address. I can also see the other roles that this party plays in the system. I select that record from the lookup, and now I'm able to see the addresses that came from their party detail form, as well as their contact information. What if we didn't know the party already existed in the system? If we select to create another vendor and type in the name, when we tap off the name field, a dialog displays the party records that match the name that you've entered. You can determine if you want to use one of the existing parties. If there was multiple records here, they would show in the list. We can tell by the contact information and address if it's the same party that we're trying to enter in. Or if we want to add a new record, we select the Add New Organization. In this case, we want to use this selected record and now the information defaults into 
our vendor detail form. The other less common way to create records is from the Global Address Book List page. You can select to create the party and type in all of the details. Save it and then from there create the party role record. In this case I already have the employee Nancy Anderson in the system and I need to create a vendor record for expense reimbursements. I can filter the global address book list page down to workers and type in a portion of her name and see that we have three Nancy Andersons as workers. From this information I can determine which record I need to use to create the vendor. The first one is spelled slightly differently than what I really need. The other two I can determine which record is correct based on the information presented in the fact boxes. This Nancy Anderson already has a vendor record. I select the other Nancy Anderson and I see she just has a worker record. From there I can select vendor and all of Nancy's information defaults in to the vendor record. I can see their addresses and contact information directly from their party record. If Nancy moves, it's not necessary for both the Human Resources and Accounts Payable Department to update Nancy's address. With shared party data, the changes need to be recorded once, and all the party role records are updated, saving time and mitigating the risk for data entry errors. These are a few of the new enhancements in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 Global Address Book. For more information, please see the other papers and videos available on Partner and Customer Source. Thank you.